This is Susan Kibler from Delivering Dreams International Surrogacy. Today, I'd like to talk to you about something that's very important to me. Uh, a lot of times you hear that Ukrainian surrogates are paid almost nothing. So I want to talk to you about why this is really not true at all. First, let's talk about the cost of living. You all know that prices vary from places to places. If you've ever traveled, for example, to New York City, you will know that everything from the cost of a gallon of milk to dinner to, boy, let's help ourselves to a fit, the cost of rents in New York City are way higher than most of the country. And this would be the same in some other countries and cities as well, say, for example, Tokyo or London. And there you have even an additional difference where you have the difference in currencies. So the US dollar vis-a-vis -vis the yen or the pound. So let's talk about uh, surrogate compensation. In the US, you hear these enormous sums, at least they seem that way to us, $30,000, $60,000 that may be paid to a surrogate. And that sounds like a huge amount. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but <laughs> reality always interjects. Um, that's what happens when you're live. But think for a second. All of the surrogates in Ukraine have to have had a, a child, naturally. Um, and so think about the cost of living for a woman and her daughter or son. And some of these children have multiple children in, say, California. It can be very expensive. And th think about how far the money that we've talked about those sums go. Now, the cost of living in Ukraine is dramatically less. Also, the value of a dollar versus the grivna is huge. So with a dollar, you can buy far more uh, than you ever could imagine in the States. And there's a wonderful or fun series of videos I did in Ukraine with me at various places eating and you can see what I had and you can see the bill and it's really quite astonishing. So let's look at the average um, salary in Ukraine is $3,000 a year. And that's in Kiev, which is our version of New York City. It's their capital. So it's, it's probably the most expensive place in Ukraine. Now, when we're paying them $15,000, uh, that's three to five, generally five times the annual salary. And most of these women, let's say all of them, do not live in Kiev. They live outside of the city. Why? Because it's just so darn expensive. It's why a lot of people moved from New York City to New Jersey. And a lot of people are in the suburbs of Boston, for example, rather than being uh, in the heart of the North End. And so these people are, a lot, are able to take and use that money for a lot more, buy a lot more with that money they are able to buy apartments, put their children through private schools, get medical insurance, buy a new car. They're able to really do really dramatic things. So what you need to do is when you think of compensation, you need to not look just at that number, 15 versus 60, or I mean, that's a really, 60 is a really high end. You need to look at the cost of living and how many years that equals because this is a year of that woman's life. So are we paying her just one year's worth or are we paying her multiple years worth? What is the relative difference in living costs and in what she can spend that on? So I hope that answers some questions. If you have a lot more, please uh, text me, uh, email me, PM me. And I apologize for the interrupting, uh, interruption of the phone call. So this is Susan Kibler with Delivering Dreams, and I look forward to speaking with you. Take care. Bye-bye.